All right, so we've done seven tutorials so far. Ended up skipping uh, at some point doing a spinal video, but now we're moving on to Sable Wolf, and then the next two videos will be Riptor and Fulgor. So, um, yeah. So first thing is that if you want to go to his stage, you press down medium kick. Uh, but if both players press down medium kick, you go to the sky stage, which is you can only go to in versus mode. And part of the reason I actually want to show this stage because it makes this detail stand out a lot more with how bright the background is. And that's the bats that are flying over Saber Wolf's head. So um, I always show a character's projectiles first if they have them. Saber Wolf has them. Um, but there's cool detail about it. Um, his projectile attack is quarter circle back punch, and it's the usual thing where quick punch is the slowest one, medium's a little faster, and then fierce punch is the fastest. But the cool thing about his projectiles is that literally the bats themselves are becoming the projectiles. So he's not really throwing them, although I'll say that a bunch. He's more directing them. He's pointing, like, go that way, right? Um, so... What's happening is that he has three bats over his head. The one that's closest to him, like the lowest one, is the one that always goes first. And then the next one, and then the one that's the highest. And so yeah, you can only have three out on the screen. If I try to throw three, and then I try to throw a fourth one, you'll see I don't actually throw anything. So what's happening is you're directing the bat, he flies and he hits, and then as soon as he hits, he flies back to Sable Wolf. And if somebody blocks the bat, it falls on the ground and then returns. Very cool. And the other thing that's kind of unique is the fact that the projectile starts wherever the bat is. So you get, um, basically he's got his upper body somewhat protected. Because if, if you're trying to jump in and say Wolf does this projectile, especially if it's the higher, higher bat, um, it'll, the projectile will basically become active above his head and you'll get hit by it so i wanted to show that very cool detail i honestly didn't notice that until probably a year or two ago um i'd always noticed the bats but i never really paid attention to the fact that literally those bats were turning into the projectile uh very cool it feels feels a lot like a you know a favorite movie or something you've watched a million times and for some reason you only just now noticed this this uh detail in it but all right, we'll go to Saber Wolf stage now, and we'll get into the other moves. Um, I'm gonna show his howl a little later, um, but basically, other than his howl and the projectile, all of his other moves are gonna be charge back, press forward, or charge forward, press back. Um, all right, so charging back, pressing forward, and punch is a two-hit spin, and all punches, do the same move it just changes the range okay so the fierce punch is pretty much full screen on a closed in arena like this not a sky stage or anything but um and all three of these are openers so i'm gonna go ahead and show you the autos for all of them like i always do so off of the quick punch version you have fierce punch and you have medium kick and this is the only auto or i'm sorry the only opener he's gonna have that that's going to use um, medium kick is the uh, the quick spin. So I'm going to do quick spin, medium kick. Um, and also, uh, quick kick's never going to be an auto for any of his openers. The only way you can do the quick kick auto is to do the universal jump in that I showed in the basic tutorial. So essentially, these two buttons will link together. Like when, when I jump in, if I press quick punch, then I can press quick kick. Or an auto, or if I jump in with quick kick, I press quick punch. And then your mediums and fierce link with the opposite attack. So a medium punch links to a fierce kick, fierce kick, medium punch. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's the only way you'll even see the uh, the quick kick auto. So all right, let's get into the medium punch version. So medium punch, you get um, if you charge back, press four medium punch. Your autos are medium punch. And fierce kick. Now the medium punch version, you could also charge forward, press back medium punch, and you get the exact same autos. Medium punch and fierce kick. And there's only gonna be one instance where 
those two moves are different. I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, also, if you're already in a combo, the charge forward press back medium punches is linker. So, um, just like most linkers, you have three different autos and they're all different strengths. And what makes it easy to remember though, is that the two of the autos are the same as the opener version, okay? So if I'm charging forward, press back medium punch, I can press medium punch or fierce kick. If I do this move again while I'm in a combo, I can still use medium punch or I can use fierce kick, okay? But the linker version also gives you quick punch. So that's typical with linkers. You get three options and one button per strength. And I told you that quick kick isn't a linker for anything, so it's it's gonna be quick punch. Um, the fierce punch version, you get quick punch and fierce kick. All right, next is charge back, press forward and kick. And all three buttons are a different attack. So the quick kick version is a two hit roll and it's actually a low. So let me be backing up. You see it's a low attack. This is actually my favorite opener. Probably the one you'll see the most, to be honest. Um, so yeah, it's also an opener and you can go into medium punch or you can do fierce punch. Those are just two autos. All right. Um, I'm gonna skip medium kick because that one's really involved. Uh, so let me, let me talk about fierce kick real quick. So charge back, press forward, fierce kick. It's kind of a slow startup, to be honest. I don't really use this move too much, um, but it's also an, an opener. And your autos for that are going to be quick punch and medium punch. I pressed it too quick. I'm gonna show you what that was about here in a second. You have to wait until he actually lands, okay? So what you saw there when I pressed medium punch and he didn't do an auto right away is that as soon as this hits, he you you can still you can um, attack again with Saber Wolf and he's technically still in the air, just about to touch the ground. So it treats it as if I've I've jumped and I'm just about to land, so I can do any of his air attacks. So if I do charge back forward and fierce kick I can then press any of the six buttons and it, it's kind of hard to time but he'll hit him twice boom boom you heard that now when I just kicked him just now with the fierce kick it counted that as a jump a jump in fierce kick so I was talking about the universal right the way the buttons link together so fierce kick links with medium punch so technically I can do his pounce move this right here, then hit fierce kick and then medium punch right after. All right, and you can do that with any of the buttons. It's kind of tricky, but like I could do it honestly with, um, I could do the pounce, hit quick punch and then go into quick kick. All right, so basically the pounce you, using this, you can, um, not only have the two real autos quick punch and medium punch but you can then turn it into anything like if i wanted fierce punch to be an auto i could do the pounce hit medium kick and then fierce punch all right um yeah really cool to be honest so now let's get in the medium kick which i think is even <laughs> more involved okay so charge back press forward and medium kick it is a running attack and he'll, he'll run until he gets to the opponent and it's just a single hit that knocks him up in the air now um quite a few things so first thing is that if you charge for longer it then becomes an opener you'll notice that it won't knock him in the air it keeps him grounded okay so it's now an opener if you charge for longer and your autos for that are quick punch and then fierce punch all right now, what makes this more complex is that it's like the running moves with some of the other characters. Like TJ Combo has a running uh, running punch and Spinal has a shield attack that he'll run the entire screen until he gets the opponent. 
And in all of those cases, while the character's running, you can convert it into other moves. Now, Saberwolf happens to be able to convert it into any of his kick attacks. So when you charge back, press forward to medium kick, keep holding forward, and then you can press back in any of the three kicks. And it'll go into whatever moves are associated with those buttons, right? So quick kick is a roll. So what that means is if I start the run, press forward, medium kick, hold forward, I press back and quick kick, it'll go into the roll, okay? Now, what's even cooler is that it still counts it as an opener. So when I do this and convert it into the roll, I can use the moves or the autos that are associated with the roll, which are medium punch and fierce punch. So you've taken the roll, which was already amazing, which has good range already, but you can close even more distance now. All right. You can also convert it into the uppercut itself. So you're basically like stopping it early, canceling it, whatever you want to say. Okay, this is a lot like Jago's wind kick. So with Jago's fierce wind kick, you do the wind kick, you can be holding back and you press forward and fierce kick to cancel it, essentially. But if you wait until it hits before you cancel it, you actually get two hits. And it's the same with Saber Wolf. So I'm gonna do the forward and medium kick and then back medium kick. It's a little, a little tough to time, but two hits. Now, for whatever reason, when you do this, you dizzy the opponent. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure why, it's it's pretty crazy to be honest, but uh, that's what happens. Now, there's a couple things. So, uh, first thing is that this double version, one, two, still counts as an opener and still uses the same button. So I was telling you that the uh, autos for it were quick punch and fierce punch, and you can still do that. I'm do two hits and then go into those two autos. But in all honesty, right, why do that if this move's gonna dizzy the opponent? Well, of course, gotta mess it up. You dizzy them and then you go into another combo. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I don't I don't know why that's the case, but it is. You can also convert it into the pounce attack. Now, a few things with this. The first is that the if you convert it into the pounce, the autos don't work. Right? I've shown you that the autos for the pounce by itself are quick punch in medium punch. You gotta wait till you land. <laughs> Too early. Alright, there you go. Alright. But if you do it as a converted move, quick punch it doesn't do an auto and I didn't cancel that do it like that okay it doesn't work but right a minute ago I was just telling you how you can do this like double hit well you can do that if you do the canceled version you can still do that so I can do the run cancel it into the pounce when the pounce hits then press another attack while I'm still in the air and then go into whatever auto it links with. Saber Wolf. Saber White ready. I don't really use that that much, so there it is. Okay, so you've got that. Um, <laughs> yeah, so technically you can turn the run into, um, I was gonna say, you could, you could turn it into any auto, right? Off of the pounce. And also the other thing to note is that the pounce is faster now. If I do the pounce by itself, see how long it takes to start, but if I do it as a cancel version, right? charge back for me kick back fierce kick really quickly it comes out quicker than doing that at least it seems to all right so we've got that you can also once you've if you've done the, the cancel you can hold forward a second time 
and keep doing the, uh, the uppercut. You have to wait for it to end. Hold on. What's going on? Okay, and you can also go into the, uh, the, the roll. Now it looked like to me, I, I, I didn't know that. It looked like the, the, um, that second hit is what caused him to be dizzy, right? I didn't even hit him with the first one. That's interesting. I didn't know that. I'm telling you, I always find out something new. Uh, <laughs> I always find out something new while I'm making the tutorial videos. So that's very interesting. It's not the double hit that dizzies him. It's just that second one. So I could literally, that's crazy. <laughs> so you can start it, cancel it, and then hold forward, back medium kick, straight into dizzy. Wow, okay. New <laughs> I'm sure people already knew that. I didn't know that, so I just, just noticed that. All right, so I checked on this later and found that it's just the canceled version itself. It's not the double hit, it's not the glitch version. Just do the move, then back medium kick, dizzy. All right, but you can also, after you cancel it, do a, uh, a roll in place, which is very interesting. Or you can, yeah, go into your, your pounce again. Lots of stuff, man. It's, it's kind of crazy, all the stuff you can do off of the chargeback for medium kick. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to remember everything, man. Um, yeah, if I forget stuff, I'll have to add it at the end because there, there's a lot happening here. I guess let's... Um, let me talk about the howl. I didn't mention the howl. So, the howl is rotate to down back fierce kick. Okay, you leave yourself open for quite a while, but you can do it in between rounds. Now, what the howl does is it gives you an enhancement, just like combo breakers do. So you'll notice on Saber Wolf's health bar, it's flat. It's got a little flashing line right there. Okay. There's also an, an interesting detail where he starts drooling. You see he's drooling right now. And right, the other Sable Wolf isn't, but as soon as I howl, you'll see he's doing the same thing. So you kind of have two, two indicators that you've got this enhancement stored up, health bar and, and the, the drool there. So once you've done that, it then will make your spin a double spin. So instead of being two hits, it's gonna be four hits. Okay, now it's a one use thing. So as soon as I did that, you notice he's not drooling anymore, the line's not flashing anymore. You can do the same thing with the roll. So the roll now becomes a double roll and does four hits. Okay. Now, let me howl again, and I'm gonna show you this. I was telling you before with medium punch, you can charge back, press forward, or you can charge forward to press back. And that there was only one real difference. And that's that if you're charging forward and press back, it's always two hit. Okay. It's never gonna be four. So if I charge back and press forward, you'll see it's now a four hit. So you can kind of use that if you want, if you don't want to use that up right then, um, because it can be kind of tricky to remember whether Sable Wolf has that prepped up or not. And so when you're going to block, right, you, are you gonna block a two hit roll or are you gonna block a four hit roll? So it can kind of throw you off. So what you can do is already have that prepped and do the forward back medium punch version. So they're, they're waiting for a double spin and you only do two. And then you can catch them with, you know, a double afterwards, so. So let me, um, let me show the combo breaker. So combo breakers, um, his is just back forward kick. And it's the same rule with everybody. You do the strength to the left of whatever the opponent's doing. So I'm gonna come in with a roll and press medium punch. So since I'll be using medium, let me get his health down all the way and reset it. Since I'll be doing medium punch, I need to do a uh, quick kick. Okay, so I'll do a combo breaker. Now the combo breaker is gonna work the same as the howl. He gets the flashing line and he starts drooling. Now the saber was different in that when he does a combo breaker, he only gets one enhancement. Everybody else gets three, but he only gets one use. So if I go ahead and use this, you see that flashing line goes away, right? So the, the he's the only, I'll say he's the only. Spinal doesn't really need a combo breaker, right? Cause he, he gets skulls, but everybody else is gonna need a combo breaker. Um, I was gonna say for their highest ultra, but Jago doesn't. Anyway, <laughs> for the most part, you need a combo breaker to get your highest ultra. Saber Wolf is not that. 
he all he has to do is howl and then he's 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 good to go so there that's the uh the combo breaker he's also um let me show his wake up it's the same move it's just back forward kick okay and that's actually um so i had to i had to knock him up in the air because uh i couldn't sweep him that's another thing to mention he's like tj he doesn't have a uh right his his down fierce kick doesn't sweep them um and just to note this crouching <laughs> yeah crouching uh fierce punch crazy range on that uh, and i never talk about the other moves like right you've got everybody has this i mentioned it in the, like the, the basic tutorial but like most characters have a back and fierce punch or back and fierce kick attack but i don't really cover the normals too much in these i figure you can press the buttons and see what happens but so that was his wake up and then you've got his air double so when an opponent's in the air and you do an air to air attack after you hit them do forward back kick and you're going to use the strength just like the combo breakers the strength to the left of whatever you just did so if i hit him with any fierce attack i'll then do forward back medium kick okay if i use medium i'll then do forward back quick kick and if i use quick then i'll do forward back fierce kick okay um i guess next is his enders so i told you a minute ago like all his moves are charged back right back forward so all of his enders are charged back press forward um you just have quick punch and then all three kicks so we'll run through them so i'll just start your, your, your combos like this so we've got charge back forward and quick punch got quick kick dropped it why not yeah. there we go we got medium kick and then we got fierce kick all right now um show his juggle as well i never i never use his juggle to be honest um, it's it's back charge back press forward and fierce kick um i miss it a lot anyway but i, I never really use it so yeah you're gonna, you're gonna probably see me miss this about four times because i don't really know the timing very well um yeah i'll show you something else that that you do instead of using this move but it, it does hit and if you've got if you've got the combo breaker or you've done the howl or whatever it becomes a three hit version all right, so I'm having to jump in here afterwards because of how many times I missed the juggle. So uh, here it is. Um, and now if you do the howl, you get the enhanced version that hits three times. And you actually can use that three different times. So the howl is a one-time use for the spin and the roll, but the juggle, uh, you can do it three different times. So you see how the line's still flashing. Now it doesn't matter whether it hits or if it misses, you get three attempts. Uh, but instead of that, I, I'll show you a little bit later. There's a way to get a four hit juggle. That's why I never use it. Um, so um, I guess let me show the finish moves and then I'll I'll talk about like his um, his glitch juggle and any other details I forgot. And then, yeah, um, let's show. No, not yeah, danger. OK, OK. All right. First up is his humiliation. So you just have to be on your first health, first health bar, and you uh, four three times and press quick punch. Now, <laughs> one of the things I love about doing the humiliation as uh, Sable Wolf is it's the only time you ever hear him say anything. So if you listen carefully, you hear him say "friend." Humiliation. Friend? So, <laughs> yeah, I love that about the humiliations, like. Different characters have different things that they'll do or say. Um, <laughs> so like you got, yeah, break it down, dance, get it on, hit it, boogie. Um, anyway, the next um, the next finish move is back, back, forward, medium punch. And you need to be at this distance here. You can't be too close or it won't work. Then you've got back, back, medium kick when you're close. And then I'll show the ultimate and the ultra. So ultimates are basically finished moves you do 
in a combo. And it's gonna look like the, the last finished movie you just saw. Um, yeah, this is great. We're on this stage here. <laughs> so this is a stage you can't select. You just have to randomly get it. It's kind of fitting. All right, we got, um, yeah. When the opponent's on the second health bar and the health is flashing red, which right now we technically have one pixel of health each. You just, while you're in a combo, do a um, quarter circle forward, fierce punch. You go straight into that. And then... Um, if you're in a combo, you want to do the ultra, right? Have a combo going, hold forward, press back, and quick kick. Okay. So yeah, this is... <laughs> I was going to say, it's really cool to be on this stage. So the, right, this stage is essentially like when you knock them off a spinal stage, right? They fall through the bridge. It looks a lot like this. And then the music that's on this stage is Saber Wolf stage, so... I don't know if it's the case, but I always theorize that Spinal's rooftop and, and Saber Wolf's castle are in fact the same place because of that that stage there, but I, that's just speculation. Okay, let me... Let me show a couple more things here. So, the... I've mentioned in other videos, when you do a launch ender, you can then do a character's linker, which I just did there. Charge forward, back medium punch. When you do that, you then have the ability to do another ender. Now, with Saber Wolf, his, his roll ender, this one right here, will actually connect. It's a little, it's a little tough to time because it's a low attack, right? So you have to catch them right as they're landing, but Essentially, you pop them up. You take, it's, it's, it's a little tough to time. I, na I nailed it right there, but basically you're gonna take like one step after the you launch them. Basically take one step, do the linker, and then go right into the ender, okay? And you can do the same thing when you do an ultra. So you'll, you'll get the whole ultra going. And he pretty much pops him up the same. You take one step, and that one's gonna miss, yeah. But that's how you're that's how you're gonna do the um, the four hit juggle. That's why I never. <laughs> I, I still can't believe I didn't hit this at all. All right, there you go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just I just don't use that that move. So. All right. So the other thing that I meant to mention is that. Um, so let me let me show the howl again. You get the howl. You get that line flashing. Now, when you, you hit somebody with it, that line goes away, but if you don't connect with it, you still have it, okay? So it's only if you actually connect, right? Only hit one time, but it still disappeared. And I want you to take note of when the line disappears. It doesn't disappear, right? When you start the move, it disappears after it's done. Okay, so it waited until the very end for that line to disappear, so there's actually a uh, way to get a double roll and a double spin. So, just hold Fierce Punch, and when you do the roll, go ahead, charge back, forward, and let go of Fierce Punch, but do it before the roll finishes. That way, that line's still flashing, and the game looks, and it goes, oh, right, you've got the ability to do a, a double spin. So you get eight hits out of it. And this is actually what you're going to need to do, like to get his his higher ultras to incorporate that. Um, and you'll also do the uh, the whole thing where you start a combo, put a slight delay, and then start it with a linker instead. That lets your combos go on longer. But it only works on player one side. I've mentioned this before in videos. So if I do this on player two side, you'll see that it all linked together as a six eight combo. And on this side, I get four, and then I start with two. So, yeah, you have to be on player one side to do this. It's a little tricky. Uh, I'll link to um, a couple of videos I know that have this combo. Actually, there's one guy, uh, sorry if I forget the name, uh, but he's got, um, he puts inputs on the screen. So that'll be really helpful. But essentially, that that's what you'll do, is uh, you'll be holding Fierce Punch.
okay? That's what you'll do before the ultra. Then you get the ultra, and then after that, do your linker into the uh, the low kick ender. Um, yeah. So uh, I think I think that's it. If I forgot something, I'll add it in right here. Um, otherwise, next up will be Riptor, and then I'll do the Fulgore video. And then after that, if I really feel like it or people really asking for it, I'll do an idol video and probably Gargus because I never did a Gargus video. Um, yeah, so anyway, hopefully uh, you learned something and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.